Hey guys, what's going on? Mike here with Griddle King, and this is the Monument Mesa 325. I'd say this is like a mid-tier gas grill. It's not gonna be on a low end. It's not gonna be as high as something like maybe a Weber Spirit. It's one of those grills you can pick up for not a huge price. I think this is going for around $350, and it's going to do everything you need it to do for most of your day-to-day -day barbecue grilling needs. Now, when Monument reached out to me and talked about sending it to me, um, one of the things I appreciate when a brand reaches out to me is they didn't say, hey, we want you to do X, Y, and Z with this grill. They just said, hey, we like your channel. We're going to send you the grill. Say what you think about it. And that's a really good sign of a brand that's confident in their product. So we're already off to a good start with this. But I want to run through the features real quick, and then I've got some really awesome food to throw on it, and we'll see how it cooks, and we'll see what kind of options we're working with here. So the star of the show on the 325, in my opinion, and it's absolutely my favorite part, is their Clearview HD panel. Now I've been cooking on this for weeks, so you might see a little grease in here, but I can still see through it. I can see what the status of my food is. And there's an old saying in grills, and that is, if you're looking, it ain't cooking. Meaning, if I'm opening this to check the status of my food, you know what's not happening? I'm not retaining heat, and I'm not effectively cooking my food. So having this HD panel here, for me, is awesome, because I'm the kind of guy that doesn't like to wait. I like to know what's going on, and with this panel, I can just glance, I can see the temperature, I can see the food, and I know just at a, at a moment's notice exactly how my food's doing. You've got two shelving units, one on the left here that's got three hooks for hanging your accessories, and then you have another on the right here that can be used as a shelf, or it's living a secret life as a double agent, 12,000 BTU single burner unit. Here you can do things like boil water, put a cast iron pan, you can just kind of tackle other non-grill specific items with this burner or put the lid down and just use it as another storage shelf. All three of these knobs have an LED backlight, which I really like. I think the knob is right here. You see how they're red? That's because the flame is on. When I turn the flame off, these will turn, let's just do it. See, it turns white, turns white. I kick it back on, electric burner. They turn back red. And speaking of, you have an electric ignition system and you can replace the battery right here. Down below, you have a nice brush nickel handles on these two storage doors. Inside, we have our propane tank. You have your wall-mounted propane line holder, which I actually like instead of keeping it down here and, and becoming a mess. Um, and you actually have some extra room for like grill brushes or just accessories you don't wanna take back in the house, but they get dirty from grilling and this is a good spot to keep them. You've got a a removable drip pan that's going to catch all your grease and juices from your food while you're cooking and not building up inside the grill and ultimately leading to a flame up. So that's a nice feature. Um, this embedded thermometer here lets you kind of just glance and see how your grill temperatures are doing. And then inside we have the porcelain enameled grill grates, the second row here for things that need non-direct heat or just kind of want to keep warm. Um, you have your flame deflectors, and then ultimately your pan down below is graded to funnel all of your juices and greases down into that pan. Um, below you have four caster wheels with a locking mechanism on them. So once you roll it to where you want to go, you can lock it in place. And then they have these little Easter eggs that I really like specifically because, well, I'm me. There is a bottle opener they have pretty slickly embedded in here as well. Um, so for $350, this is one of those grills that's going to be able to handle a lot of your grilling duties without breaking the bank, without needing to go spend over a thousand dollars on some fancy grill. Most people don't need that stuff. And so this kind of answers that call, but that's cool as far as specs go, but let's talk about how it cooks and we'll start that by throwing some food off. All right. So we got a few fun things on this grill today. We're going to do it all at once just to see how it handles some multitasking now quick disclosure i've been cooking on this for a few weeks now everything from frozen burgers to steaks to bacon wrapped jalapenos i mean i just kind of have done your typical grilling food on it and it always does a good job but you guys haven't seen that so let's do that now starting off we're going to have a little bit of sea salt on these chicken tenders and then we're going to throw on some steak kebabs with onion and red bell peppers. And then finally, 
some Anaheim stuffed peppers with cream cheese, bacon, and chives. I know that all sounds horrible and I'm not looking forward to eating it, so don't you worry at home. I'll just have to deal with it here by myself. So, we have put... Well, I'm pulling this early because I want to move some real estate around, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, ten, twelve chicken tenders. Now I've got these kebabs. And then the store today had this deal. My local butcher had these ready to roll. And I figured, you know what? It's Sunday. It's pretty outside. And why not? Because I like to eat food. So, I mean, look at that. That's quite a bit of food at one time. And not to mention, we have a side burner should we want to just run some other foods, some... Uh, some, some, some sort of side, you could still use that second burner. But we're gonna let that do its thing. We have the clear view lid to check on its progress as it goes, and we'll check here in just a few minutes. All right, guys, as you can see, everything turned out really, really good. Um, I never had any flare-ups, never had any overheating happen, but largely that's due to me keeping it at a low temperature. With gas grills, you have to be careful not going too high on your heat because your drippings can then ignite and cause you a bigger problem than you want. Um, I ran this on low heat. Everything cooked nice and slow. Everything is juicy and good. And overall, this was a really well done meal. Thanks to this monument, Mesa 325. Also, the folks over there sent me this all weather cover that I'll be putting on when I put it away. Um, and they have a line of other accessories and things you can pick from. So hopefully this was helpful. If you guys are looking for a grill, don't want to spend a ton of money, but you want one that can get it done and do it well, definitely consider the Monument Mesa 325.